the real estate issue, it's really, I would say it's one of the biggest challenges that uh, people yeah. face. And this is usually uh, when, you know, when we talk to our clients and they move to Portugal, they are now well established here. And I ask, what is there something we could, uh, in your point of view, that we could uh, improve so that you would have a better experience? And uh, usually it comes out to the real estate part because yeah. you know it's um, something that we of course we try to do our best to provide a good service but the environment you know the real estate market makes it m much more complicated for for yeah. us to do good business and uh, this is i would say for the whole vive europe business i would say that i think about the real estate part maybe 60 to 70 percent of my time here yeah. due to the importance of the well, yeah the key thing and the key advice i can give everybody uh, to approaching this is to look at your entire move and really figure out like, your budget for your entire move we treated it as an investment it's an investment in us it's an investment in our son uh and we didn't look at moving to Portugal as a cost saving measure. That's very important because it is less expensive here. But if that's the goal, you're going to have some challenges because starting up, starting a new home, starting a new apartment, you know, getting the lay of the land, right? Buying a new car or getting used to, you know, a new public transit system. There's gonna be startup costs to that, right? Um, so when I say that to say it was, we we were in a we were in a different place as far as looking for the right place. Like we almost were at another just a lovely young couple. We were we were almost gonna be in 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 a place not too far from here. Right until we got that call back that our that our first choice is like oh you know we want to we want to continue talking, but if this is if this is gonna be the we can be somewhere for a year, get the lay of the land and then figure it out later, um, you can get that furnished apartment from a more established uh, realty company where it may not be the most cost effective, right? But I'm not going to say any of them by name, but there are like three or four of them that are on Idealista and that Victor can like point you to, right? But if it's like, you know, we need to be somewhere where the utilities are going to be paid, the place is furnished, and it's in a place that I can point at to a map. And it's, you know, that's what this company does. You can find that place and have that be done and not, search and not stress yourself if your key focus is like i want to move and we're on a tight budget and we need to save money lisbon may have to come later in your journey like yeah. you just might have to look at other places that that will be amazing right but lisbon is kind of like i mean i've seen this story before i've lived in new york i've lived in san francisco where it's just like hey we're full everybody like thanks <laughs> like, there's so much like we're we're crowded it's expensive it's like oh how much does this place cost that's great i grew up here and it used to be you know a third of that right so yeah. again trying not to contribute to that any way we can trying to really immerse ourselves in the culture and be gracious and just when we're at you know the supermarket and something's not working or somebody is like you know, you, you can't come here and say, oh, this should be easier or you should. I thought everybody spoke English. Why am I having to? It's like, all right, put yourself in the shoes of someone else that you encounter in the U.S. who English is their second language. Right. And appreciate them right? and what they have to go through and, you know, hope for the same grace that they hope for. And hopefully you're giving people wherever country, because we're not just speaking, I'm speaking to the US, but wherever it's just like, it's it's a different experience and you're just gonna have to have patience. And the best thing you can do is just arm yourself with as much information and you know partners that 
it makes sense to work with the, who can who who can navigate you through and help you with with what you needed. Specifically, what we needed was somebody to look at that lease and make sure the lease was ironclad. And for me to be able to say, I got a lawyer I'm sending this to, you know, it, you know, it made us look more legitimate as well. You know, it, it made it put them at ease. They're like, okay, cool, like good. You should. Yeah. <laughs> it's true it's true and um yeah the be open um to face this these challenges you mentioned also about the cost of living that's a, a another very important topic because you know i've moved here um six years ago and i went to a small city braga And I remember that it was so affordable. You know, um, uh, in this scenario, uh, it made sense move to Portugal if you want to save money. If you can, of course, uh, work remotely, uh, if you can keep with the same source of income that you had before. Portugal, at least Braga, used to be a place where you could go to save some money if you compare to brazil and i've been i've been working and living in portugal for the six years and i can see that the scenario changed a little bit there was kind of a boom uh here uh, in portugal and the, this small country was started to receiving so many good people Uh, to live here, to help with the economy, and uh, but there is also the down the down uh, side. That is, it tends to become a little more expensive living here in Portugal. And uh, if you if you go to places like Porto or Lisbon, this I can multiply by three, four, five times. Uh, and comparing with your uh, uh, the way of life that you had in New York and nowadays living in Lisbon, Lisbon, do you find it very uh, different? The overall cost of living? Yeah, that's a great question, and it's just you have to. This is going to be very, very, very like individualistic like people will need to look and say you know what am i expecting to to do when i get there right if you're a young couple you're in, you're in your 20s you're going out and you're drinking and like taking in shows and hanging out and you come here you're gonna do a lot more of that stuff and it'd be affordable right let's, let's start there right yeah. um yeah. alcohol eating out going out if depending on where you go, obviously, expensive here is it's a whole nother world. If, if you're eating out for three in the Bay area and you have a couple of drinks like here, you'll look at the bill and it'll, you know, it'll not be as bad. Right. Um, but for me personally, I was just like, we're eating out too much in the Bay area. We're on DoorDash and, Grubhub, and I shouldn't say any of those names, right? It's like, we're like ordering food way too much. We get here. It's like, are we going to keep doing that? Like now I go to the supermarket and I'm just like, oh, there's fresh food here. Like if you love, if you like fish, oh my God, <laughs> it's, yeah. this is a fish. This, when you walk into a supermarket, you're going to know there's fish there, right? It was like, this is a fish loving place. It should, it's right on the ocean, right? If if you want to like cook tuna, cod, salmon, right, and you enjoy those things in the U.S., congrats, you're gonna save probably everything you're spending because you know the groceries are super affordable. Is what I'm trying to say, right? So for us, it was a lifestyle shift of just like I go to the supermarket three days a week now versus going to the supermarket once every two weeks, um, and it's funny because they have they'll sell you what they call an american refrigerator it's funny looking <laughs> it's like, oh that's an american refrigerator it's like oh let's look at the, the ordinary refrigerator and it's half the size right yeah <laughs> um and i'm like yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be that guy that buys an american refrigerator to just get stuff and load it up right 
I live right across the street from an amazing market and my family eats fresh, right? We are able to get, you know, fresh baked you know, croissants and bread and all sorts of stuff that is just like, all right, this would cost an arm and a leg, right? Um, so it's the lifestyle piece of it. You know, if you don't want to drive the, um, the ride share, it's dirt cheap, right? The yeah. Metro is wonderful, right? And I, I didn't, we didn't take the train for a very long time. Um, we were here and I was just like, I got to figure out if I can get to my son's school by train and just do it. And then I found every stop was connect. Like we were like, oh, this is where we walked. This is where we went to do X, Y, Z. And then you realize, I realized why I love Lisbon so much is because it's a lot of little communities that are connected by a really great grid, right? That's where the football stadium is. That's where the other football stadium is. It's connected to this shopping center. It's another thing about Lisbon is in the U.S., the malls are dying. Here, they're incredible. They're beautiful. Every town has basically like a little commerce center where you can get groceries, you can go to a movie theater, you can, you know, do like shopping and the stores and the boutiques there are, are incredible and they're beautiful and they're well-maintained. Right. So, um, yeah, everybody, like for me personally, it's still getting adjusted to, you know, I love live music and there's festival season coming up. I'm probably going to, you know, miss festival season this go around while we're still getting everything taken, taken care of. Right. But I'm looking forward to getting back to some of those things that I really, really, really valued in, in the U S and they're all still here is, is the key thing. I look and I'm like, Oh, Queens of the Stone Age is coming here. Smashing Pumpkins is coming here. Pearl Jam is coming here. It's like, there's a really great hip hop, um, looking called, I'll give them a shout, even though I haven't reached out personally, they're called Versus, right? They're bringing some amazing, amazing, amazing artists here, like Freddie Gibbs, Danny Brown. Like, It's, the culture is here, right? It's coming here and there are shows here and you're, you know, how close to Paris, to London, any other thing you need to see. So I think the key is to get your budget together and figure out what um, what you enjoy and there'll be a way for you to, to continue that and to have that, um, in your life, but you just need to just make sure, you know, some people don't need to do a budget. So we were like, yo, this sounds great. I just need to know what's there and I'm good. I'm, you know, we're fine. Like God bless you. Right. Um, but if you need to, if you, if you need to budget in the U S you gotta make absolute sure that you got everything clear. Cause you don't want any surprises when you're out here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> when you were speaking, I was just nodding because really it's how I feel as well. You know, I'm not in Lisbon, but I'm in Porto. We don't have so uh, many events here if you compare it to, to Lisbon, but we do have many. And from, from moving to Braga to Porto, this is something that uh, I appreciate the most. You know, there's so many uh, uh, cultural events, so many... Uh, orchestra if that you can go to just like a, a big city but uh, i live on the other side of the bridge so i uh, it's a more um uh, calm place so just knowing that i can get a metro and go to downtown and see so many things uh, have uh, many places to choose if i want to have uh, to lunch it's uh, something that's very unique to Portugal, I would say. And uh, yeah, so just like you, I uh, love living here. You just moved to, to, to Lisbon and uh, I'm pretty sure there are so many things you will be able to explore, the city, the surroundings. It's uh, I love going to Lisbon actually and uh, I always find something new to do. It's, it's incredible, really, really really nice to know that though now i actually i may go to lisbon next week and uh, i will let you know in advance for sure so yeah. for us to have a, a wine together and uh, but i know that i will 
discover something something new and um, yeah uh, Damon really 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 appreciate you you know being here with me uh, to share your experience with uh, the public um, you mentioned um, uh, very important topics to think about and the 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 issue with the mindset that you talked about is some for moving to a new place uh is something that i really really think it's important and um uh, again thank you so much damon for 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 you being such a nice person i really 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 looking forward to to meet you in person try to be in lisbon before you come to porto um and uh, if you need anything you know you can always count on me on mateus barbara we are all here for you your family and uh thank you absolutely it's been a pleasure uh, chatting with you and um yeah, I'll see you next week, and then, and then you can host me uh, the, a couple weeks after that for, when we're up there for spring break. We're gonna make that happen. We've got two Perfect. Weeks. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Damon. Take care, my friend. Take care. Bye.